Hi folks, this old geek here. Pop quiz. Would you rather A, pay thousands of dollars for a beast of an ancient jukebox that only plays 78 RPM records and your friends and family questioned your sanity on purchasing? Or B, spend hundreds of dollars and countless hours building a mini 3D printed jukebox that streams your own music library, web radio, Pandora, and Spotify, and has a high wife acceptance factor? I'm asking for a friend. The answer, of course, is B, build your own mini jukebox. Those of you who answered A, you can leave now. Oh, good, they're gone. If you've checked out my other projects on Hackster, you know I like Art Deco. I did a mini radio that took design cues from classic Zenith radios and an Art Deco style clock. One thing I hadn't plagiarized, oops, I mean paid homage to, was a classic Wurlitzer jukebox. I often start a project with a bad sketch on a napkin. If you can see it, you can make it, or something like that. Then it was off to Google to see how hard it was going to be to make a 3D model of this jukebox. It was really complex. My next search was for an existing 3D model, something I could modify. I found a beautiful, full-size, classic Wurlitzer jukebox model by Marco Gregorio on GrabCAD. Marco had even included downloadable step files, which I could import in Diffusion 360 to modify. After importing the model into Fusion 360, I selected the entire model at full scale, used the modify scale command. I used a factor of 25% to reduce the model to approximately 38 centimeters high, 14 inches. The step file contains a large number of components. Some features in a real jukebox, like a coin slot, didn't make sense for my version and were left out by hiding them. Only visible components with eye symbols are used in my model. I changed the model to alter or add features, for example, a window at the top, a place for the LCD touch panel, split bodies for printing, add speakers, add holes for switches and power input, among other changes. The final design included over 75 hours of 3D printed parts. Two pieces of software power the jukebox. Volumio, an excellent free download, handles the music playing duties. An Arduino sketch by Michael Bartlett on SparkFun uses a sound detector board to light up NeoPixel LED strips to music. Here are the electronics running the jukebox, a sound detector that digitizes the speaker output, an Arduino that uses the digital audio to drive NeoPixels to music, an IQ Audio Pi Digiamp playing music from a Raspberry Pi, and a Raspberry Pi running Volumio music software. There were some issues. Huh. Hmm. That's garbage. But in a few short weeks, or months, I actually had a jukebox working. Let's see it in action. The main reason I wanted an LCD display was for now playing information. You can, of course, completely control the functions of the jukebox from the LCD display itself. Here I'm navigating to the home, then to network attached storage, into a music library. And these are genres. I'm going to pick a genre, an artist, an album, and a track. What's covered. Control so and volume, the following scene, just know up or down, store is protected by three. and shut down the box. An iPhone, iPad, or computer interface is a lot nicer. Here I'm doing the same function that I did before, 
Tuesday in the Music Library, genre, artist, album, and track. For AirPlay, pick the media player in the Apple Music app, and then pick Volumio from the next screen that comes up. The other switch around back has two positions. Number one is for lights to music, as in the start of this video. Number two, shown here, is for a bubbler effect going through a color wheel. So is all this worth it? Yes. Yes, it was.